Asian Pacific Health Foundation, originally AAPH Center, is a non-profit organization established two decades ago to advance health and wellness for the underserved groups in San Diego. We provide health education and free community health screenings. We have a diverse board of directors and executive committee with close ties to the Asian Pacific Islander community. Our volunteers are a dedicated student base from UC San Diego and SDSU Medical, Pharmacy and other pre-professional students. We conduct monthly educational sessions with health screenings at churches, temples, schools and community centers throughout San Diego County. Also, our work has focused on viral hepatitis and other chronic diseases such as metabolic syndrome with diabetes, cholesterol disorder, hypertension, with weight assessment and osteoporosis. APHF has the experience and can expand our scope to include latent tuberculosis infection and tuberculosis because these diseases affect the same communities we target. About the communities we serve, APHF has a long-standing history working with the API community composed of the Vietnamese, Filipino, Pacific Islanders, Laotians, Cambodians. We, col we collaborate with professional organizations such as the Vietnamese Physicians Association, the Vietnamese Federation of San Diego, an umbrella of 30 plus organizations, the San Diego chapters of Lions Club International. APHF also serves on the National Task Force on Hepatitis B and the HEP B United Coalition. At health outreaches in the community, we provide health education under the form of pre-tests and post-tests to participants in different languages besides English, such as Vietnamese, Cantonese, Farsi, Khmer, Laotian, Mandarin, Spanish, and Thai. Several APHF volunteers are bilingual and bicultural. This is one of APHF's greatest assets since Asians made up the fastest growing racial population in San Diego between 2000 and 2010. Project implementing um, dots to raise awareness of latent tuberculosis infection and TB in the Vietnamese community in San Diego has twofold. It takes an evidence-based approach where we're reaching out um, using a train the trainers model that has been proven to be effective in public health. And we're taking an approach of addressing the community, but which is the first objective where we're trying to educate them and knowing the difference, misconceptions, um, to decrease the stigma and encouraging testing and treatment for um, LTBI and tuberculosis. And this includes um, training, uh, uh, trainers that we are going to educate through creating a Vietnamese and handouts um, information to train them. And then the train the trainer model means that they go on to train others, um, at least five. And we will have new trainers each quarter. Um, so we have four quarters um, over the year. And eventually the goal is to reach at least minimum of 250 people in the community, which is the trainers and the trainees. And then the second fold is going to be reaching out to the professionals because we also have to reach that side of the community and training um, health edge professionals by hosting an educational event open to the general public, but targeting health professionals to talk more about um, disease pathogenesis as well as um, treatments um, for uh, uh, latent tuberculosis infection and TB. The first outcome, which is going to span both uh, our objectives, is going to be increased education. So increased education in the community um, between the trainers and the trainees. So this is where the trainers are going to get an educational all-day uh, training, and there's going to be pre-tests and post-tests to see and measure their increased knowledge and then they're going to pass it on to the trainees. So we wanna make sure that the message we're giving out there is uniformed. Um, and then we also will base information on the CDC guidance and resources, um, but um, in order to create the video and the information that we're putting together. Then the other fold is the increased knowledge for the health professionals. So which is through the educational seminar that we're 
offering, they're going to also get these continuing educational units by attending. So that's an incentive. And then they're going to do a pretest post test um, before and at the end of the seminar. And so, and then we're also going to do process evaluation. So we're going to informative evaluation to make sure not only the outcomes of educations increase, um, but also keep logs of the people we contacted um, and to the ones we promoted for the testing and the treatment. We currently partner with many local and national organizations in this project. Establishing new partners has been our priority in order to host awareness events. For local partners, we have partnered with the UCSD undergraduate programs and graduate programs such as Staff School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences and School of Medicine for volunteers. APHF's workforce depends on volunteer staff. For this mini grant project, we have increased the number of recruitment and the volunteers are very excited to participate in the project for the new learning opportunity as well as to help underserved community in San Diego. We also partner with the Union of Pan-Asian Communities, in short UPAC, for marketing our outreach events. The Project SAFE stands for uh, Schedule Assistance for Vaccine Equity, and this is a, a brand that a brand within the UPAC group that we work we are working with. This group was launched during the COVID-19 pandemic to expand equitable distribution of COVID-19 vaccines to populations who have suffered the worst outcomes from the pandemic. By partnering with this group, we were able to extend our screening to these patient populations. We also partner with the County of San Diego TB Control Branch and the Champions of Health to identify sites for health outreach and improve strategies to expand our reach to underserved communities. Um, we, we have continued to stay in touch with our local community partners uh, so from churches and temples to host events. For national partner, we have worked with the APACHO group, uh, which stands for the Association of Asian Pacific Community Health Organizations on Hepatitis Project. And we are very excited to uh, receive funding for the TB elimination um, program and work closely with the APACHO group. And the APACHO group has been resourceful for us, not only information on TB screening and treatment, but also connect us with local partners to help us conduct successful outreach and meet our grant goals. APHF has also partnered with the Vietnamese American Medical Association and the Vietnamese Pharmacists Association. Uh, and in the past, we have conducted continued education programs with these groups. And we will plan to work with these uh, providers from these groups to raise awareness of latent TB and TB. We become connected with new partners through TB network and referrals from partners. From meetings with Champion for Health, we were further connected to Catherine Bender, the senior consultant TB elimination initiative at the County of San Diego TB control branch. And we now became a member of the San Diego County TB elimination initiative advisory task force. Our partner with UCSD were established when APHF uh, before APHC was founded. Many members had, ex uh, had existing ties with the university and we have worked closely and provided UCSD School of Pharmacy student and medical student various learning opportunities throughout our relationship. Similarly, APHF has established long-term relationships with the Vietnamese American Medical Association and Vietnamese Pharmacists Association, APHF was founded. The founders of APHF, Dr. Stone Tran and Bin Tran, were active members in these organizations. And because of their strong connection with these organizations, APHF has been able to recruit providers from these groups to participate in health outreach. APHF is currently building a volunteer workforce that focuses on 
the TV project and recruit providers to help train the staff and volunteer on uh, the project. Uh, I recruit Dr. Michelle Fang, an infectious disease pharmacist at Yakima Valley Memorial Hospital. Uh, but she also uh, a UCSD volunteer faculty, and she has been helping us to build training and educational materials for TV project. Uh, we reached out to UPAP when uh, APHF began looking into supporting uh, COVID vaccination and have formed a close working relationship since then. UPAC was excited to work with us on the TB projects and this also helped to bring more services to the underserved communities. Vietnamese is among the countries with the highest TB burden in the world and Vietnamese migrate to the US from this TB endemic area. San Diego has one of the largest Vietnamese communities in the country. Many Vietnamese families in San Diego have relatives who came as refugees in the 1970s. So focusing on Vietnamese community is important uh, when addressing TB control. Equally important is, need, is the need for increased awareness and heightened visibility about latent TB infection and TB in the Asian community particularly among Vietnamese and conveys through education in their native language. More targeted education efforts to prevent the spread of latent TB infection and TB to promote early detection can help educate at-risk communities. Reaching out to Vietnamese is essential to control uh, see more than 80% uh, of TB cases were people with untreated latent TB. Uh, our team hopes to expand our education efforts and focus on latent TB infection and TB that similar affects Asian disproportionately in this project.